The following is an excerpt from Disc 5, Volume 1 of In the Room with Milton H. Erickson, M.D. To purchase the DVDs, please go to www.pfti.org slash DVD. Thank you. Now, hypnosis itself doesn't do anything. And it gives you a favorable climate in which to work. Dr. Erickson, what, what, what do you recommend uh, for learning the techniques of hypnosis? How, who do you recommend going to for that? I live in the Santa Fe area. I don't know. <coughs> particular person or uh, some kind of... In the first place, develop your own technique. Don't try to use somebody else's technique. And you can have them look at an object and discuss learning, right, the alphabet. That's the easiest technique. And tell them to relax as a conscious thing. You get tired, that's conscious. Go to sleep, that's conscious command. Now, I talk about difficulties, learning to write the letters from the alphabet. They just naturally go into a trance. I don't try to imitate my voice or my cadence. Just discover your own. Be your own natural self. I've seen dozens and scores of men try to imitate me. It's a hollow pretense. Your patient knows it. You talk very rapidly, do so. You talk very softly, do so. You talk slowly, do so. And be yourself and develop your own technique. I've seen lots and lots of failures on attempts to follow my techniques or somebody else's techniques. It's the individual responding to the individual. I want to work with you. I keep you in mind. I work with you, I keep you in mind. With you, it would be you I'd be thinking about. I would try to understand your own behavior. And I would be just my own natural self. I experienced it with trying to do things the way somebody else would do it. It's a mess. 